Well, smoking weakens your immune system and it increases your risk of respiratory infections. WVUA 23's Kayla Smith is live with more about the link between smoking and COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warn that smokers who contract COVID-19 are more likely than non-smokers to face severe life-threatening complications. I'm here to tell you guys something very important, that there has never been a better time to quit smoking and vaping. Dr. Susan Wally says smoking puts people at a higher risk of being admitted to intensive care units, placed on ventilators, and dying from COVID-related conditions. Smoking e-cigarettes and vapes, popular among young adults, a group normally considered to be low risk, can also lead to complications. We know that vaping is not safe, and it can damage the lungs as well. A recent study by researchers at Stanford shows that um, children and young adults ages 13 to 24 are five times more likely to be diagnosed with COVID-19. Doctors are also concerned about the impact of secondhand smoke. Children who are exposed to secondhand smoke are at much higher risk for many diseases, including sudden infant death syndrome, so also known as crib death, for, at, for getting asthma, as well as having more severe asthma attacks, pneumonia, respiratory infections. And so it really stands uh, to reason that being exposed to secondhand smoke also could potentially make you at higher risk for severe COVID-19 symptoms. Wally says it's never too late to quit smoking. When you quit, your body starts healing. And so it is really important to quit no matter where you are. Wally recommends smokers get vaccinated as soon as possible. If you or someone you know would like to quit smoking, you can call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Reporting live, Kayla Smith, WVUA 23 News.